moved. We're in a new 4,000 square foot warehouse space. Come take a tour with me and see how we have our farm set up. Stay to the end. You're going to see a sneak peek of members only video that you don't want to miss. So come on in. All right, thanks for coming on in and checking out our farm. Uh, this is obviously the office area that we have. Uh, so it's quite big, probably more than what we need, but it's what came with it. So this is office area. Um, you see this table, this is what we use for sampling when we go out and do sampling stuff and everything. Uh, so it just sets here normally, helps cut some uh, labels down and stuff. So, and then in here we have the break room uh, we do with it. So we got our little mini fridge over there and then a table set up to cook on and do everything we need to do with the water tank and all that stuff. So just a little mini break room for us. And then we come back out here and we're back into the office area. Uh, so this is where we filmed the podcast and everything over there. You can see the behind the scenes of that a little bit. And then we're going to walk in through this door. And this is going to lead us right into our dish room. All right, this leads us right into our utility room area. So we do do popcorn for our uh, farmer's market. That's kind of that area over there. And then we have our tray storage rack, which we have a ton of trays because we plant a ton of microgreens. But uh, so these are all the clean ones over here. And it's extra dishes and overflows and trays and stuff that we use. And then this is our drying rack, which our domes are on there right now, our blackout domes and some uh, corrugated plastic stuff. And then our dirty dishes are over in the other corner over there. We have a three compartment sink that we use to spray trays out and do all our soaking in uh, buckets, which we have some tray stuff soaking over there right now, some peas and wheatgrass. Show you that, just what we use. We use a double bucket system. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, we show that in our pea soaking videos. Uh, we used to use bags, uh, wheatgrass. I think we got a video of that, where, how we do it like that, so in the bucket, so. And then we got our commercial dishwasher, which is very nice. Uh, helps us speed up uh, washing dishes so much faster, and it costs about 100 bucks a month, so very well worth it, so. All right, so we're gonna go to the main show now, and we're gonna walk out here and show you what we do here. So we also do have a bathroom over in the corner, but you guys don't probably care about that. Uh, but this is our harvesting tables we got set up. These are just uh, tables, uh, folding tables that we use, and we use risers uh, for that. So we got four of them set up here. We usually have three people that are harvesting and labeling and everything else, so that works really good for that. And then, this is our planting table. Uh, I know a lot of people ask what we do here. This is for our soil. We just dump our bent bags of soil in there and then we dip out of that and everything else. You can see we have a lot of that on our Instagram. You can go back and check that out to where we uh, fill all our trays and everything else. We've done some live plantings. You can see that on there. Um, we'll walk over here. So this is our storage kind of area. So these are all our packages are here, boxes for distributors, uh, five by fives, gloves, all the stuff we use. And then our seed storage is down here. So this is where we store all our seeds. We store them all in buckets for the most part. Uh, we used to use these, which we're still going through on kill a little bit. Um, but as we're transferring them all, we're going into the five gallon buckets with the gamma lids on them on top. Makes it nice and secure and safe in there for every, all of them. And obviously more seed storage, some domes, some ba live basil stuff we're doing now, some deep trays for our lettuce, which we'll show you guys all that in a second. And this is where we weigh all our seeds right here. Uh, and these are pucks for our lettuce down here. And you come over here and pile it of soil, Coco Loco. The best soil we found so far to use is Coco Loco. We've tried a lot. FPO is really good, but we can't get it. So. Uh, so we use Coca Loco. And then after we plant, we're going to come over here, and this is where we set all our trays to germinate, stack them six high with the bricks that are right back over here. Is the bricks that we use. You can see them. And that is one tray down there. Uh, that is cilantro. It's a seven day germination. That's why it's still down there. That will come out in a few more days. And then we do blackout on some stuff, and we just set them here. These are beets and Swiss chard that are in here. Give you a little sneak peek. And here's our beets, looking beautiful. They'll come out later today. Just got a few more hours, we're gonna let them sit in there. But this is where all this sets up here. So it just kind of goes right over from that table. It's basically all within one area here. 
to make it efficient. So you want to like be able to take the trays, boom, don't have to walk too far to do everything else. So we try to keep everything nice and tight and tidy with that to make it fast. And then once they come off of that germination racks, they're right here. They come right over to our grow area and we put the trays right on there, there. So you can look down here, we have cabbage and arugula down here. Uh, we do use blackout domes on them. Both of them products use blackout domes and we just set them on the racks when they do that. And we just took them off, that's why they're down there. Yesterday, haven't transferred them yet. And more grow, we got basil down here, broccoli over here, a lot of broccoli. Kale, basil, you know, so all of it. Some sunflowers down here with some cilantro. And the lettuce you'll see down there that we're growing right now, them are all germinating still down there. Them are in the deep trays with the cocoa pucks. And uh, most of them are germinating. And we'll have more videos on that of what we do with the lettuce and everything else coming up as we get involved in that. So check, make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Hit that bell notification so you can get any notifications when we go or we do a live podcast every Sunday as well at 4 o'clock on Central Standards Line. So make sure you check that out. All right, back to the Rex. Uh, this is our live basils, full basils that we're doing. Peas are over here and some more lettuce. Lettuce has taken over the world. Uh, we're planting a lot of lettuce right now. So, And then these racks are our transportation racks. So we pull stuff off of these racks from uh, when they're done growing. And then we transfer them over to the planting area that we looked a bit er earlier. So it makes it just a quicker process. You don't have to come back and grab one or two trays at a time. You can grab 40, 50 trays at one time and take them over there. So it makes it more efficient. Highly recommend something like this. Uh, and then this is all of our new construction kind of area you're gonna see. This is where we started. Uh, the whole grow space out here is 2,800 square feet uh, that we use. The total building's 4,000 square feet. We obviously got dish room, bathroom, uh, office, all that stuff you gotta worry about too. But So over here is the lettuce uh, troughs that we're using. These are from Crop King uh, and we've kind of modified them Again, we'll have a video coming out about them and what we're doing with that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but the lettuce is growing really well. You can probably see down here, if you look down, the lettuce is growing really well. That's the first trial runs that we are doing. So they are growing quite well. And we do use fertilizer on these, obviously, since they're in uh, just peat pucks uh, that aren't got anything in it. So they're gonna need fertilizer that just runs through the system as well. So. So we modified it, but you guys can check that video that comes out here later on. Um, and then we're gonna go over to our flower area. Now you might say that the flower is gonna get too big for this area. We know that we're expanding and doing. There's a 12 foot pallet that's just down here to the side that has a lot of stuff on it that was part of the Crop King thing that we will be moving over to here. That's gonna be on these bricks. Um, and then we'll have that here and we'll have a whole new system that will spread all these flowers out and everything else along with the herbs and stuff like that. So it's building progress, but this is the flowers currently and they are growing beautifully. Uh, they just started and they're starting to bloom really good. Most of them for the most part, 90% are good. So, and that's the lights we use T5 lights that are the pinkish lights for these flowers. So got questions on that. So that 12 foot pallet will go here. Uh, so some of the storage stuff will change out a little bit. We got our farmer's market stuff over there. Our four by eight pilot that goes in our minivan for deliveries is over there as well right now. Uh, garage doors are back here. Obviously these boxes need to go out. We just uh, emptied out them today. So they'll be going out here later on when our utility person gets here and does all that and the dishes that you've seen back there they're gonna do. So, uh, and then over here in this corner is kind of our storage area for our coolers. Uh, we do have a reaching cooler. That's the original cooler. If you see an original farm tour, if you uh, uh, post it up here somewhere, in a, you can check that out. And that's what we started using, and we still use it somewhat today. Usually use it for like leftovers for us, eat and stuff that we put in there now, because now we have our big walk-in. So this is our walk-in, show you in there. So just empty right now, pretty much, because uh, it's just a little bit of sampling stuff that we're gonna be doing to uh, restaurants and stuff, so. Uh, everything else has been delivered, so that's that. All right, that is our farm. Um, much bigger than what we had before, if you've ever seen our videos before. If you're a member of this channel, we're gonna be releasing our first original setup that's gonna be coming here soon. Uh, we'll be releasing that. We've never released that video before, so you might wanna check out our membership uh, on this. It's a little, it's $2.99. You'll be able to see the, how we first started and how we grew to this 4,000 square foot warehouse. So we will see you guys in the next one.